Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unpopular Opinions! Today we're gonna be talking about what I would do to Tomorrowland in Disneyland to make it better. We just got the news that a Marvel type land is gonna be coming to California Adventure. So I thought I'd throw my hand in before they do anything to Tomorrowland. The main attractions that make up Tomorrowland are the Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage, the Disneyland Monorail, it's an attraction. Autopia, I guess the Disneyland Railroad, but that's more of a stop and I, I don't want to touch that. That doesn't need to be touched, it's fine. The Tomorrowland Expo Center, that's what it's called. The Innovent, Innoventions area from people that went there when I was younger, call it. <laughs> Space Mountain, the Tomorrowland Theater, Star Tours, the Astro Orbiter, and the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blaster Ride. That's basically what Tomorrowland is now. Not bad. I'll give it to you. It, like, everyone likes the Buzz Lightyear ride, everyone likes Star Tours, no one likes the Nemo ride, even though the line is always long, and Space Mountain's awesome. But, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it up a bit with all the new changes happening in the park and what's going where nowadays. I'm gonna try to make it a real future park. Maybe? I'm gonna start from the front entrance of Tomorrowland with the Astro Orbiter. Honestly, it's fine. It doesn't need to be touched. It's perfect. It's it resembles Tomorrowland. It's the symbol of Tomorrowland as far as I know. You walk in, you see that. That's that's a good start. Doesn't need to be changed. That's fine. See, I'm not changing everything. Then we have Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters. I still 100% say it should be Meet the Robinson theme. Again, starting off telling a story because honestly that ride doesn't really tell a story. It's just shoot the enemy ride. And I like rides that tell stories, but this is a ride that could be interactive along with Interesting. In the beginning queue, it could tell a brief history of what's happening of Meet the Robinson on how the bowler hat guy stole a time machine and has changed everything so Doris is taking over. Doris is the hat, by the way, if no one else knew. It's on Netflix, guys. Watch it. Anyway, we could be sitting in our own time machines, just like Lewis and Wilbur, and we could be blasting at all the Doris hats. Just like you have all those random aliens everywhere you have to shoot, just make them Doris's, or like people that Doris is controlling by having the hat on top. How cool is that? It fits in the theme of tomorrow since it's a movie about going to the future, which we haven't reached yet, as far as I know. And I love this movie to death. A lot of people love this movie. It's a very, very wholesome movie that's a family movie, so kids and adults will love it. Moving on to something a bit more controversial, Star Tours. I know, I know, I know, everyone likes Star Wars. I, this is the long shot, trust me. But since they're making Galaxy's Edge and it's gonna be all Star Wars themed anyway, do we need Star Tours? We've had it for a long time, it's a fine ride, but we can make it something more interesting. Does anyone remember Treasure Planet? Honestly, when I go into Star Tours, it's always dark, which is nice when it's hot out, but I would like, I don't know, to be a brightness when it comes to tomorrow, not dark. And that ride is very immersive, but you can also make it immersive by making it Treasure Planet themed, by having you walk in on the dock, where you're docking into the different boats, Instead of having your transport there, you can have your actual other transport, which is a giant ship. And you can have all the aliens, or at least like the captain, talking to you as you come in instead of C-3PO. Telling you where you're going and what the voyage is about. And then later on, have all the pirate people watching you as you're going up the stairs. Then you can go on a voyage. Here's my problem with Star Tours normally, and it's a dumb problem and it's just me. I know, I don't care. But, you're going on a trip and a voyage to a different planet. You land on a different planet, but then you get out and you're back in Disneyland. It's not continuous. But with Treasure Planet, spoilers for if you haven't seen it, the orb transports them to wherever they want. So you can be going on these adventures with Benny as your captain, and he's fumbling around, pressing the wrong button, and then he finally sends you back to Disneyland. Granted, it doesn't have to be exactly Disneyland, but the port you left at. And then you get off and you're back in Disneyland. It's all continuous, and it would be really fun. Trust me, that movie has a lot of ups and downs, just like Star Wars would, where if you're traveling on a ship in space, it'll make a difference. And it's basically future. I don't think that would ever, honestly, unless we come to that point, not be tomorrow. <laughs> Moving down the line, Space Mountain. It's fine. Don't touch it. But... If I was to do anything to it... And don't hate me. It's only because they said the Marvel thing and I really want to put it in here. You can make it a Black Panther Vibranium Mountain ride. Come 
on, it has the perfect name, Vibranium Mountain. Ugh, or Black Panther Mountain, whatever. Like, you're going in there and it has those shoot tubes, like, for the movie. Spoiler for Black Panther, kind of, not really. They have these trains and it has those, uh, it has those sound creators on them as they're going by. And, oh my god, how cool would that be if you were on a train that when it went by, it goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, like, and you're going through this fast ride, just like they're doing. You see all this vibranium in the mountain being transferred up and down, over and over, and you're just on that train. How cool is that? I am sorry. I just destroyed Space Mountain. It's a fine ride. doesn't need to change. But how cool would that be? I want it so bad. Or at least, like, I'm... I, no, I want it. I want it. <laughs> For the expo, or the interventions area, I would say make the top part an Iron Man slash Shiri lab. So you have Wakanda and Iron Man kind of lab area that talks about science and then the bottom be big hero six and have it be the um have it be the university the nerd school and you get to meet baymax down there i just think having that space be used for teaching science to everyone would be really really cool and having different versions of it that people might like you have the school version where it's like big hero six where the more kids will be able to jump on board with it then you have the iron man where more adults will be more interested or even young kids that love iron man then you have the Wakanda side, where you have a different culture of science, where it's just more interesting. Granted, it might not be real science, but you could throw real science in there. And it'd be really, really fun. And everyone would have a space where they're completely engrossed in a culture made by Disney and Marvel. Like, how cool is that? I would love to go there. Don't judge me. I just want it. Remember, these are all my opinions, so I'm sorry if I offend you. Tomorrowland Theater, I was never really against showing previews for future movies because that's tomorrow. So I'm still down for that. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's pretty cool because it encompasses the thought of tomorrow. Before anybody goes back on me and saying, how's Black Panther tomorrow? It's a futuristic society, which we are not at, who is basically like a utopia and has very little problems besides people wanting to steal their vibranium and stuff. Either way, it's still quite futuristic, and we're not even close to there yet, as far as I know. Now the Nemo ride. The submarine Voyage. I think they should turn it into an Atlantis Lost Empire ride. I get that's a lost ancient society, but again, same as Wakanda, very futuristic. Floating cars, healing technology way above our own, all these other things that we don't have, and that could be tomorrow. And I think Atlantis is another one of those movies. It's basically like a time capsule. Everyone knows it. It holds up pretty darn well. Has a bit of pacing issues, but what, what, can you, what can you say? It's a good movie. Honestly, I would love to see one of those submarines they took down there to shape like a fish or whatever it was, and see the Kraken down there, and just basically go on a voyage of how it sank, how they got down there, it being a peaceful ride so you get inside the Kraken attacks. It'd just be more interesting. The Nemo ride is fine. Like, the Nemo aspect of it is fine, but Atlantis would do a, add a thrill to it, so that when you're sitting there for... 20 minutes or however the ride is, 10 minutes. It's not boring, it's a thrill the entire time. Granted, it might scare children, but just make it light at the end and you'll be fine, <laughs> hopefully. But you can even put the statues out where the waterfalls are. You can have the statues in that are outside the front of Atlantis standing there. Bit of a budget issue, but it'll be cool. It's better than the yellow submarines, which honestly I don't see that much connection with Nemo besides that it's underwater. They don't talk to humans. Right? I guess Crush talks to humans. And finally, Autopia. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. Make it a Zootopia ride. Make it like you shrunk down to the size of the rodent town and you're driving around the car and you have a giant Judy, a giant Nick, the weasel guy with the donut, and you're driving around there. Doesn't even need to be much faster. You can if you want. But it'll be really different and every time you ride around you find something different about this Zootopia. And you can have a giant Zootopia in the background, that way it shows that you did shrink. And Zootopia is a futuristic animal world in its universe. So, it would still work in the theme of Tomorrowland. And I really, really would love to have that ride, because it almost has the same name already. Autopia, Zootopia. Not hard. And everyone likes Zootopia. My only other thing I would do kind of ties back into the Space Mountain thing. If you don't touch Space Mountain, then make the Disneyland monorail when it comes into Tomorrowland have those sound barrier things. So that every time it goes by, it just goes over a little bit and has lights. 
that'd be fun. And especially at night, it looked really, really cool. Again, these are all my thoughts and opinions on what I want in a Tomorrowland, in Disneyland. If you guys have any thoughts of your own, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, make sure to subscribe and momentai. Bye! Man, that Space Mountain idea sounds really cool.